Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my cloth diapering favorites and essentials. Now to successfully cloth diaper your baby, all you really need are the cloth diapers and a way to wash them. But there are quite a few things that just make it so much easier and that I have really come to love and that I use all the time. So I just wanted to share with you a few of the accessory type things that you don't absolutely have to have, but just make it really, really nice. So let's get right into this video. The first thing on the list are little on the go wet bags. And these just come in handy so much. I use these like every time we go somewhere because when I have to change her diaper out in public, I don't want to just stick the dirty diaper in my diaper bag, just loose. And I would be afraid that it would come open and stuff would get everywhere. So this has a zipper and then it's waterproof on the inside so that this just contains everything. It doesn't stink when it's in here. It's like kind of smell proof as well. It has this little stretchy thing to hang it on. I have a clip on my diaper bag that I like to clip around this so that it just hangs on the outside if the inside is stuffed, which most of the time, let's be honest, most of the time the inside is absolutely stuffed to the brim because for some reason I always feel the need to pack like 10 diapers if we're just running to the store. I don't know why. The other thing that I really love about these is you don't only have to use them for diapers. Like if you have some sort of messy spit up clothes that you just need something to put it in to contain it, you can use this for that. I've also started using reusable feminine products, so pads. And so if I have to change a pad at when we're out and about, I can put it in this as well. And then there's, this, there's also this second pouch. And what I like to do is put her diapers in the main pouch. And then if I have other stuff, like my pads, I put it in this so that they're not like mixing because I don't really, I don't know, I feel weird about the dirty diapers and my period pads mixing for some reason, I don't know. But there's two compartments on this and I, I just, this is a, this is a Nora's nursery brand. And so this is probably one of my favorite cloth diapering accessory type things. Next thing on the list are cloth wipes and a spray bottle. Now not everyone who cloth diapers has to use cloth wipes. I know a lot of cloth diapering moms who still prefer to use the disposable wipes and that is so totally okay. These are actually just some really simple cheap baby washcloths and you really don't have to get fancy with the wipes. I actually would like love to try some different kinds of actual reusable wipes. I have a few different kinds in my baby registry that I would love to try when this little man comes along. But for Sophia, these have worked wonderfully all this time, and so you, you really don't have to get fancy with the wipes. And then just when, I, when I'm using the wipes, I get like two out if it's poop and one if it's pee, and I spray them with my spray bottle. This just has some water in it, and you're good to go. And then you just wash these with your diapers, and it's so simple, so easy. This is a nice glass spray bottle, so that's gonna last a long time, and I don't have to worry about any plastic stuff leaching into the water, getting on her diapers, because that's like the main reason I'm cloth diapering is to keep toxins away from her skin. And so I love that this is glass and just natural and safe. You can even put different things in the water, like sometimes I'll add just like a tiny little splash of raw apple cider vinegar if I think she might be dealing with a yeast rash or something and this will help clear it up. So you don't have to just use plain water. People sometimes use witch hazel just for soothing. You can use different essential oils. The next thing is a diaper sprayer. And I actually didn't have one of these for the longest time when I started cloth diapering. It was only, it's only more recently that I got one of these. But it's really, really nice for that poop that just will not come off. No matter how much you dunk it in the toilet and swish it around and like try to use the corner of the diaper to scrape it off. It's just so nice to have like a high powered diaper sprayer that's just gonna like blast it right off into the toilet. I know this is a little bit TMI, but we are talking about cloth diapering here. So they're super simple to hook up. I found one on Amazon, it was really cheap. I think it was between 20 and $30, which isn't all that much for how handy it is and how much frustration it saves me and cleaning and all that stuff. So I really like it. I do wanna like kind of make something like some sort of a shield because it does splash a little bit, but I, I don't really like that. Most of the time, if her poop is just more solid, I will just use like the corner of the diaper and just like kind of scrape it off like that. And that works perfectly fine and there's no need for the diaper sprayer. But when there's diarrhea or peanut butter poop or something like that, it is so nice to have that diaper sprayer. The next thing is cloth diaper safe diaper ash cream. 
And now when I say cloth diaper safe, I'm mostly talking about vapor rash creams that don't have petroleum in it. Because that puts like this oil, oily, waterproof film over your diaper and that just makes the pee and everything just roll right off the diaper like raindrops on a window. It's, it's not good. <laughs> so I have two different kinds of diaper rash creams here that I use. These are the only diaper rash creams I use. I, I make both of them myself. I actually have a tutorial for this one. This is like my heavy duty workhorse diaper rash cream that I pull out when she's got a really bad rash. And normally when she has a bad rash, all I have to do is put this on right before bed and by the time she wakes up in the morning, it's gone. This stuff is amazing. I love it so much. This one is just a little more simple for just little rashes. I try to catch them really early and this is what I use to catch them early. This is just coconut oil and lavender and, cam and Roman chamomile essential oil, just those three things. And this works really well for just like really little diaper rashes, but if they get to a certain point, this is really not gonna do much. So then I would pull out my heavier diaper rash cream. But I also use this as a lotion for her at night. Before bed, I put lotion on, on her whole body and then if she has a little tiny rash, I'll put this on her bum a little bit too. So just having those two things, one works really well for one thing and one works really well for the other thing is really nice. And then that kind of goes along with our next thing is little liners. And these are just like really thin liners that you rip off they come in a roll. I use these for when I use that zinc oxide cream. I've just put one of these liners over her diaper so that it's in between her diaper and her skin. And I put her cream on and then I just do not have to worry at all about it doing anything waterproofing. These are also really nice for like when I'm using these and she poops and then you can just like lift up the liner and throw it in the toilet and you don't have to like worry about scraping it off your diaper. It's really nice. Generally, unless she has a rash, I don't use these. I'm tempted to because it's just so easy to to deal with the poop when you're using these so if you are someone who would love to cloth diaper but you're a little bit afraid of dealing with the poop try using these these are just like they make it so easy you just like basically pick up the liner and throw it away and then your diapers like ready to put in the washer it's crazy the next thing are baskets for storing my clean diapers in i have these big burlap storage baskets that i have i have two in the living room one is for my daughter and one is for one has my son's diapers that he is not born yet, but I have his whole stash ready to go because I'm like obsessive about getting things ready beforehand. But these baskets are so handy. They're they're nice and big, so they hold all the diapers that I need them to. They hold her wipes, her spray bottle, her diaper rash cream, the liners. They just have everything that I could possibly need for cloth diapering her. And it's just right there in the living room, right next to where I change her diapers. Plus they look really cute, so I don't mind having them just sitting out in the living room. I actually have a video on how I do my lazy cloth diaper storage. I don't really pack any of my pocket diapers or do any folding or anything. All of the stuff just gets dumped into these big, huge burlap totes. And then as I need them, I pack them like according to what I need them for. So those are really, really handy. Hey guys, it's just a few days later and I'm editing this video and I realized that I forgot to talk about one of my essentials that I use probably the most often, I, I can't believe I forgot about this, but it is a wooden drying rack and this actually folds down really small, but it's a bamboo wooden drying rack. They're really inexpensive. In the summer, I hang all my clothes outside on the clothesline, but in the winter, it's like below freezing almost all the time, so I can't hang my diapers outside and because they won't actually dry, they'll just freeze. So what I do in the winter is I dry all the inserts and pre-folds and flats and all the stuff that you pack inside the diapers, I dry those in the dryer. And then I use my wooden drying rack to dry all of the pocket diapers and covers and everything, everything that's got a waterproof material on it because I found that was really starting to wear out drying in the dryer. And so I use my <laughs> wooden drying rack for those. And I, whenever I wash a load of laundry, which is usually every other day, I separate them out. I hang all the covers and, uh, and pockets and all that stuff on that and I dry the rest of it. And so that is just super handy and I've noticed that my diapers are not wearing out as fast. You are so busy. And so that is like a really important essential for me. I absolutely love my bamboo wooden drying rack. I found it on Amazon. I just wanted to pop back on here and tell you guys about that because I'm using it like constantly. So hopefully you guys find it helpful too. And it's really small. It's so nice that it folds down into itself. So it's really easy to store, but then it folds out and you can, you can hang quite a few things on it. So, and then the last thing on my list is a large wet bag for hanging 
for just storing dirty diapers. I, I do my laundry like every other day or every two days about, just depends on you know how much she's going and all that. So when she has a dirty diaper, I go deal with the poop or whatever and I take apart the diaper, I pull the inserts out of the pocket diaper or whatever and I put it all in here. Just This is a waterproof bag, just like the little on the go one, but this is a big one. Like big, big, big. So this can hold a whole load of diapers and I can store them in this before I need to wash them so that they don't have to like be sitting in my washer, taking out my washer if I have something else that I need to wash before the diapers. So it's really nice. I love the ones that have handles because I hang them on a couple of hooks in our bathroom so it's like right near our toilet area so I deal with the poopy dirty diapers by our toilet and then they go right in this bag. I don't have to walk across the room with a 30 diaper. And so these are just so, so handy. I have one that doesn't have these straps and I haven't used it like once. Okay, maybe I've used it once. But these straps, these just make it so much better. So I highly recommend getting them with straps unless you have like an actual basket that this can like fit into that you can like use this elastic to fold around it, you know, to fold around the outside of the basket. That would make it easier to not have straps. But I don't have one of those and our house is so small that I don't really have room for one of those. So I love having those straps on it. So I think that's all for this little list of just kind of cloth diapering extras. I hope this was helpful. I will try to find all this stuff and link it in the description box below. But all these things, you don't really absolutely have to have them to cloth diaper successfully, but they just make it so much easier and and just funner. And so hopefully I gave you some ideas if you're thinking about getting into cloth diapering but you don't really quite know what to get besides the actual diapers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.